Indoor cricket is a fun sport that you play in an enclosed, netted area between two teams, with eight players on each team. The goal of the game is to score more runs than the opposing team over the course of two innings. Each player must bowl two overs and bat in a partnership for four overs. An inning lasts for 16 overs. To begin, flip a coin or decide which team will bat during the first inning. The fielding team puts on gloves and takes up their positions in the field, in either the front court or the back court. Four players of the fielding team must be present in each half of the court when the ball is bowled. The wicket keeper is included in the front court fielders, and the bowler is included in the back court fielders. Once everyone is in place, the umpire calls play to start the game. If your side is batting first, the goal is to score as many runs as possible. There are two ways to score, physical runs and bonus runs. To score a physical run, both batsmen must complete a run from the striker's crease to the non-striker's crease, or vice versa. Batsmen only need to run halfway down the pitch instead of the whole length like in outdoor cricket. A batsman is declared out if they strike the ball and a fielder catches it before it touches the ground. Additionally, a player can be dismissed if the ball is caught after rebounding off a net. At least one physical run must be taken before any bonus runs can be scored. To score a bonus run, the batsman must hit the ball into the net. The field is divided into scoring zones, which dictate how many bonus runs you can get. Hitting the ball in zone A, the front net behind the wicket keeper, doesn't earn you any bonus runs. If the ball hits the net in zone B, side nets between the striker's end and halfway down the pitch, you get one bonus run. If the ball hits the net in zone C, side nets between the bowler's end and halfway, you score two bonus runs. Hitting the ball in zone D, the back net behind the bowler, allows you to score four or six bonus runs, depending on how the ball hits the back net. If the ball hits the net after bouncing, you get four bonus runs. If the ball hits the net without bouncing on the ground, you score six bonus runs. If the ball hits zone B or C onto zone D, you score three bonus runs. After the first inning, the team switch places, so the fielding team gets a chance to bat. Both innings last for a full 16 overs, and the team with the highest score after both innings have been played wins the game.